there, I believe so powerfully in uh, the ability of entrepreneurial capitalism and free markets to solve so many of the world's problems, not all of them. The idea of letting artificial intelligence control an entire room used to belong in science fiction. Today, it is reality. By 2025, modern smart bulbs, thermostats, blinds, speakers, locks, sensors, and centralized hubs can all be tied together into a single orchestrated system. What begins as convenience quickly transforms into subtle influence, nudging behaviors and managing choices without explicit commands. My personal experience with this technology serves as both a diary and a real-world case study, highlighting the profound promise and the unexpected dangers of AI-driven living spaces. The setup, connecting the room. The journey began with a simple question. How much of my daily life could I safely hand over to an AI? My setup included smart bulbs, a smart assistant, a thermostat, automated curtains, a smart plug for my coffee maker, and environmental sensors. These devices were integrated into a central AI orchestrator. This mirrors the landscape of 2025 smart homes, a hybrid mix of cloud-first and local devices managed through platforms like Google Home, Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Matter-enabled hubs, or open-source solutions such as Home Assistant. By 2025, Home Assistant and other platforms explicitly lean into opt-in AI features for automation. They combine the power of cloud processing with local intelligence, offering users a choice between high-speed, AI-driven analytics and privacy-preserving on-device computation. Cloud-based systems allow rapid updates and advanced analytics, but they send data off-site. Local AI reduces latency, keeps sensitive inferences like facial recognition and motion analysis within the home, and protects personal privacy. The emerging hybrid model represents the mainstream approach in 2025, offering the best of both worlds while signaling a new era of controlled, intelligent automation. Phase one, delight and anticipation. The early days of living in an AI-managed environment were magical. Lights, curtains, temperature, and music playlists adjusted automatically in response to my routines. The AI even anticipated my work patterns, turning on a lamp and displaying my to-do list on my laptop because it had learned my schedule from calendar entries and motion sensors. This phase embodies the promise of modern smart homes, anticipatory behavior that reduces friction and makes daily life seamless. Platforms like Home Assistant now offer AI-driven routine suggestions and opt-in automation templates, making it easy for users to go from blank dashboards to fully functional automated environments. Observers in 2024 to 2025 found that these anticipatory systems can significantly reduce cognitive load, improve productivity, and make mundane tasks feel effortless. Phase two, nudges become habits within days. The system began nudging me in subtle ways. Lights dimmed near midnight to encourage sleep. Playlists shifted to calming tracks when activity dropped, and coffee brewed automatically during predicted low energy periods. This is behavior change by design. Modern research shows that automated environments can scaffold positive habits. Smart homes with AI nudges promote better sleep, hydration, exercise routines, and even mental health practices when implemented responsibly. The interventions are subtle, often imperceptible, yet highly effective. For example, dimming lights before bedtime can reinforce circadian rhythms, while automated reminders for breaks or hydration can improve daily wellness. On the surface, these nudges are beneficial, but they also highlight an emerging ethical question. How much of our behavior should be influenced by machines, even with good intentions? Phase three, dependence and consent creep. After a few weeks, I noticed a shift. I found myself waiting for the room to tell me what to do. Decisions that once required conscious thought, when to wake, what playlist to play, when to drink coffee, had become automated defaults I accepted by inertia. This phenomenon known as automation dependency is widely recognized in behavioral studies. When systems assume repetitive decision-making, humans offload cognitive effort and begin relying on default options, gradually surrendering autonomy. The ethical concern, consent creep which occurs when users unknowingly grant AI systems authority in narrow contexts and then accept broader influence without explicit agreement.
Researchers and industry observers in 2024 to 2025 urge clearer consent interfaces and easy manual overrides to prevent this slow erosion of human agency. Emotion detection, helpful therapist or invasive reader? The AI also attempted to detect emotional states. One evening, it identified stress patterns through subtle micro movements and breathing changes, dimmed the lights, played meditation music, and suggested a guided breathing exercise. These physiological inferences are increasingly feasible with ambient sensors and camera feeds. Vendors now advertise stress-aware or wellness automations, which can help reduce anxiety and promote mental health. However, they also penetrate intimate personal spaces. Emotional privacy becomes a tangible concern. In Europe, the EU AI Act, which phased in between 2024 and 2027, classifies systems performing emotional or biometric inference as high risk, mandating transparency, opt-in consent, and documented safeguards. In other jurisdictions, oversight remains more fragmented, highlighting the uneven regulatory landscape for emotionally aware AI. Guest privacy, the collateral effect. Visitors amplified the privacy considerations. My friends were impressed and unsettled when the room adapted to them automatically adjusting lights, temperature, and music based on their inferred moods. This illustrates a critical point. Once an AI-equipped environment analyzes faces, gestures, and activity patterns, it encroaches on the privacy of everyone who enters. In 2024 to 2025, several high-profile controversies, particularly involving community sharing features on smart doorbells and certain police access policies, underscored societal risks. Privacy advocacy groups like the Electronic Frontier Foundation emphasize that collecting biometric or behavioral data without explicit consent undermines trust and can result in unintended exposure. The lesson is clear. In automated living spaces, the rights of guests are as important as those of residents. Regulatory and Market Context the EU AI Act, fully enacted in stages through 2026, places smart home systems performing sensitive inferences under stricter scrutiny. Vendors must implement risk management, documentation, and transparency protocols. Several companies in 2024 to 2025 preemptively emphasized hybrid or on-device AI solutions to comply and build consumer trust. For example, Acara Market's motion and person detection features process locally, and open platforms like Home Assistant allow power users full control over AI routines. These solutions respond to growing consumer awareness about data privacy and autonomy. Advocacy groups continue to scrutinize community sharing and law enforcement pathways, keeping pressure on corporations to balance innovation with civil liberties. Best Practices for Smart Home AI Users for those experimenting with AI-managed environments, several practical guidelines emerged from my experience. Explicit consent and boundaries. Activate AI automations only after understanding what data is used and what inferences are made. Enable manual mode or consent toggles for emotional and health-based features. Prefer hybrid or on-device processing. Keeping data local improves privacy and reduces exposure to cloud-based risks. Vendors like Acara, Apple HomeKit, and Matter-supported devices offer local inference options. Open platforms such as Home Assistant provide users complete control over local data. Clear overrides and off switches. Automation should allow immediate manual override. A single all-off or manual mode button can restore full human control. Limit guest surveillance. Disable facial recognition or behavioral profiling for visitors. Consider anonymous occupancy detection to avoid compromising third-party privacy. Audit logs and firmware updates. Choose vendors with security audits, regular firmware updates, and transparent policies. Local storage alone is insufficient if the device is not actively maintained. Legal awareness. In jurisdictions like the EU, high-risk AI systems performing biometric or emotional inference must comply with AI Act regulations. Always ask vendors for documentation and compliance evidence. What I would do differently, I valued the convenience and measurable improvements particularly better sleep and reduce cognitive load. However, the experience revealed the need for intentional boundaries. Emotional inference should require explicit consent. 
cameras and motion detection should process data locally whenever possible, guest privacy modes should be standard. I would maintain a manual living routine at least twice a week to prevent automation dependency and ensure personal agency remains intact. These adjustments preserve the benefits of AI-assisted living while minimizing risks to autonomy, privacy, and social norms. Technology surges ahead, culture and law lag. By September 2025, the technical capacity to create intelligent, persuasive living spaces is fully real and increasingly accessible. Platforms are experimenting with hybrid A or II architectures to balance convenience and privacy. Consumers are becoming more discerning, questioning subscriptions, data sharing, and the hidden behavioral nudges embedded in automated environments. Regulators are responding with stricter guidance for sensitive AI inferences, including emotional and biometric data. Yet the core question is human. How much of your life are you willing to delegate to machines? My AI managed room provided more time and fewer stresses, but it quietly demonstrated how easily human agency can be surrendered. This trade-off demands broader discussion, clearer ethical frameworks, and regulatory guardrails before society embraces fully autonomous homes. As smart homes evolve, our understanding of autonomy, choice, and privacy will be tested. The technology may be ready, but culture, law, and personal discipline are still catching up.